coming this week on Raceline. Kyle Busch crew chief Adam Stevens on how Kyle's injuries last year actually helped the race team. I think it kind of brought the team closer together, uh, maybe even realize, let us realize how close we really were and uh, you know maybe put some perspective on uh, what racing means to Kyle. So it was a lot of fun, you know, even when he was down, just spending that extra time with him and uh, getting to know him a little bit better. Steven Wallace, still racing, just not in NASCAR, but doing what he was meant to do. Real early there in my career, it really was beneficial to me, you know, to have two uncles and a father that raced. Uh, my dad was really successful, both my uncles were too. So, you know, when I got started in ARCA and I got started in NASCAR and stuff like that, it was really, uh, you know, our, you know, our, our, you know, really kind of key deal. Our newest feature on Raceline, the Youth Report with Garrett Maines and his prediction for next week's race at Sonoma. Well, a young man came in there last year with one good foot and one broke foot. So at the end of the day, we had a winner. It was Kyle Busch. So this year, I think you guys should go out and buy a couple bags of M&Ms. This is going to be an M&M kind of day. And perfecting the NASCAR pit stop. And the car is two pit stalls away. It's coming in, the, the crewmen are allowed to go out. Uh, and so the car is about two stalls away. And I'll name and show you the positions here in a second, but as you'll see here, the car comes in, and you can see the driver goes a little long here. Those stories and more make up this week's edition of Raceline. Watch on a station or sports network near you. Now, coast to coast and worldwide on the Outdoor Sport Channel. It's the fastest half hour on TV. It's Raceline.